guys welcome to my channel Vinyl Beauty welcome back I'm Debbie if you don't know me for today's video I'm going to be doing a look that I do if I haven't got much time but I want to look super pretty and sparkly and festive say I'm going to a family Christmas event or a works meal or something like that but I'm in a rush and I haven't got much time and as I say I want it to be simple but foolproof and beautiful so if you want to see that and also see me delve into the Lunar Beauty 12 Days of Lunar because that's what we're going to be using then please keep on watching okay guys so I've done all of my face makeup already and we're going to be doing cheeks and lips and eyes together as I say we're going to be using the Lunar Beauty 12 Days of Lunar which is gorgeous but it's not what I expected <laughs> I think it was not what anyone expected from the outer packaging but it is a full colour story in a winter packaging but it's perfect for what I want to do today because it's got some really nice neutral shades I don't have a ton of neutrals in my collection because I'm such a colourful girl so but neutrals have really been my jam at the moment so I'm going to show you exactly what I do for a really simple as I say but sparkly look using this palette so to start off the look I'm just going to prime with the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and whilst I do that we'll just have a little catch up because as I say it's been a, a while since I've filmed so I did my collab video with Steph where we did the Merry Christmas makeup tag which when we first had the idea to do that video I hadn't intended on it being a tag I just thought it was just a few questions to answer and then Steph decided to call it a tag and lots of you've been doing it so it's been nice to see that I haven't had a chance to watch them because I've been super busy with work and then I've just been shuttered in the evenings and I don't always want to do anything YouTube then I just want to like watch some TV or sometimes I've been chilling out just reading just I just need to like calm myself down sometimes after a day at work so so yeah this week I'm on annual leave and I've got the whole week to myself we've had family here I have my father-in-law here for the weekend but he's gone now and my husband doesn't break up from work until Friday which he's not too happy about but I've got the whole week to as I say do whatever I want so actually before we do the eye look I'm going to do cheeks but that'll give the eye primer a chance to dry down a little bit because with neutrals I think it's easier if it's almost a set base anyway I'm going to go in with an hourglass blush I'm loving this one it's called sublime flush I don't have too many hourglass products I was so tempted to get the new ones that came out this year the one with the elephant packaging I think you guys will know what I mean but oh so expensive aren't they and I've already got another one that I'm going to show you in a moment so I couldn't justify it but I do love the way the hourglass products sit on the skin and I'm using this blush today because it's like so glowy but you can't go wrong with it you can put as much as you want on and you can't really overdo it I guess it's because it is the right colour for my skin tone whereas generally I wear ones that are, are way too like vivid for me but, but yeah it's got that I'm cold girl kind of <laughs> vibes going on as well it's super pretty and then for my highlighter I'm going to go in with this quad this ambient lighting quad I think it's three years ago I bought this now but I still love it this is the one that's just got the four shades in it and all of them are, are really easy to use nice shades and I'm going in with the highlighter from this because it's sparkly without being crazy so when I was trying to do a makeup look for like we were going to meet my father-in-law just at a little diner restaurant he was most of the way here comes from the Isle of Wight and we were going to meet him on the journey so we went to meet him in this American diner I was like I don't need anything that's like crazy because it's daytime but I want to look festive and whatever so I wanted a little bit of sparkle but you don't want cheeks that you can see from space necessarily at nine in the morning do you when you're going for breakfast so thought this was perfect and then for the look as I say it's going to be so easy there's no shade names on this so I'll just have to point to the shades I'm going to use but we're mainly just focusing a neutral shade in the crease and it's this one here so I'm going to do that and this is one of these situations where you're doing the windscreen wiper motions you know the old school YouTube saying that everybody used to say backwards to forwards windscreen or windshield isn't it in the states we're windscreen here but just backwards and forwards until it's blended out because we want it blended and pretty sort of wing it out a little bit but nothing crazy 
So this is going to be super simple to do. Because sometimes my husband will be like, come on, we need to get going. And sometimes I'll skip makeup altogether. But I've found a way of like doing this. Honestly, I can do this in like five minutes if I wasn't filming it and talking it through. And it still looks really nice. It's just giving that definition in the crease, which already makes you look ten times better, I think. But this colour's perfect for me and my skin tone. If you're deeper than me, you might want to go in with that one as like the, the first one maybe because it's creating that depth in the, the crease that you want here. So what have you guys been up to? So for me, as I say, I've been chilling, reading, watching some Christmas stuff, but I'm trying not to watch like the brand new movies that have come out like on Netflix and Amazon and... I've not watched Spirited yet on Apple TV, might do that one today. I've not even watched the Lindsay Lohan Falling for Christmas. There's Your Christmas or Mine on Amazon, I want to watch that one. There's probably about 10 this year that I haven't seen, so what I'm going to do is film first thing every day and get edited and then hopefully have the afternoon to watch maybe two movies before hubby gets home. And then we've started watching a series on Amazon Prime called Three Pines. I oh, really recommend that. If you like kind of mystery stories, like police procedurals, but it's set in like snowy Canada. And yeah, it's been really good so far. We've only seen the first part, but something we can both watch because we don't like the same sort of things quite often, but we do like that sort of thing. So, right. So that's all we're doing. That's basically the the crease done so I kind of winged out a little bit but not too too crazy I've just added a little bit as I go just to build up that intensity but really keep it blended I'm going to keep with the same brush this one was uh, Morphe Jaclyn Hill with my contact lens on can't read it JH33 I think so we're going into that deeper shade now uh, I don't want too much intensity in the outer face see that's what I normally do, I normally go super dark in my outer V and that's kind of like my thing of how I do my makeup or if I'm doing a halo eye I'll do it inner and outer but for this I just want just to add just a touch of, of intensity but nothing crazy so you know normal me would go in with the black to get this intensity in this corner but I don't want to do that as I say because I want to keep it looking pretty I've actually ran out so hopefully I'm somewhere in the same position and it's the same colour hue because quite often when I move or if I change my battery it seems to affect my white balance but hopefully I still look the same now because I wasn't very well prepared there but yeah that's it that's all we're doing we're not doing anything on the lower lash line today either guys so for my lid shade then we're going to be going in with that one and that's all we're doing is putting that on the lid so I am going to put a bit of NYX Glitter Primer on, but honestly, if you don't want it too intense, you can just go in with that shadow and it's fine. It does give you enough of a sparkly kind of pop. And if you don't have this palette, everybody's got these sort of neutral shades, so it's a really easy one for any of you to recreate if you want to as well. I was hoping I would have the things I bought at Black Friday into film with and I've got one of them. I bought the Royal Rose palette from Cosmic Brushes and it's got some really nice Christmassy colours in there so we're going to be filming with that this week but I ordered a couple of palettes from Give Me Glow and I don't think they're going to come before Christmas. They've been sat at Heathrow for over a week now and just about it feels like the whole of the United Kingdom's on strike one way or another. Border Force are on strike, the Royal Mail are on strike, so the chances of getting that before Christmas now are looking slim, I think. But I ordered the Bad Witch Club and also the Vivid Rose palette, because I love Gimme Glow's formula. Right, we're going to go in with that shade, as I say. I wanted to use the lightest shade in the palette for this. And we're just going to pop that all over the lid. But look how beautiful it is. It's almost got a creaminess to it. Even if you don't put glitter primer down, it's almost like a creamy formula. But not one of those putty shades that I don't like. It's one thing I do like about Manny's formula. It's proper, proper shimmers. Which 
I definitely appreciate. Right, so we're just doing that all the way over the lid, inner to outer of the lid. Where it's getting a bit kind of creasy there, it won't matter because I'm going to go in with a, a wing anyway. Another thing you could use here, if you don't have this palette, is a super shock shadow over the lid. That would look great. It almost has the feeling of that kind of formula anyway. But yeah, I really like this shade. I think it's super, super pretty. It's shiny without being like super textured, which if you're a bit older like me is a good thing. Bringing it just a little bit higher than my natural crease. Then we're going to go back in with that original brush just to make sure we've not got too much of a harsh line between the shimmer and the matte there. Might just take a slight bit of that original shade that we had just to help with just blending that in a little bit. And then I'm not doing a lower lash line at all, because as I say, I want to keep things super pretty. But we're going to go in with the Lamasca Style Liner and do a little wing. So I'll speed through the process. You guys have seen me do this before if you're not new to my channel, I'm sure. But I do have a tutorial for it as well, which I'll link if you want to know a bit more of the stacks. But yeah, just going to whiz through that to some music. Okay, so wings are on. I'm going to go in with mascara. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara because it's one of my favourites. I'd run out of my Melt Supernatural and then I saw that they got a deal on Beauty Bay and I think they've still got it. Two of these, two full size ones for £25. So I thought I'd stock up because I'm terrible for using mascara forever and ever and not replacing it after the three months like you meant to. So I thought, I saw somebody say they'd got an eye infection for wearing their mascara too much and I was like right I need to get myself some new ones but I do love this mascara it's not the greatest for doing your bottom lashes but it really is quite impactful for your upper lashes and I'm going to put a little bit just on my lower lashes just using the tip of the mascara wand and then we want a red lip to finish off the look. So I'm terrible at doing my lips on camera. So I'm going to whiz off camera and just go and apply this. But it's Kaleidos Lip Tonic in Collision that I'm going to use today. And then I'll be back with you to show you the finished look. Okay, guys. So this is the finished look. Super simple to do. And I think this is a look that you could adapt to the season as well. So I've been wearing it with a neutral lip to work. And... You could do like a, a dark lip with this, even a black lip, but you could, you know, it, it's one of these kind of neutral base kind of looks that you could take in any direction. But for a festive time of year, there's no better colour than red. I love red lipstick and this one will have a bit of shimmer to it. That's my kind of thing as well. So really love how it turned out. And I hope it might give you some inspo of a look that you can do super quickly that you might be able to do if you're running out the door, but you want to look pretty and festive for Christmas. And you don't want to put a ton of red and green on your eyes. It's not for everybody I know, you know, particularly if you're seeing people that perhaps don't know that you wear outlandish kind of makeup. You just want to fit in a little bit more, but you want to feel beautiful. I think it's that kind of look. And I like that sometimes. I'm, I'm very much a makeup chameleon, like... I've got all different moods for makeup. I like to do the dramatic, but I also quite like a neutral look now and then as well. And particularly in my own time, I probably veer a bit more to, to neutrals than anything else at the moment. So it's been fun to do. If you don't have the skills to do wing liner, I know some of you find it really difficult, then you could just do this with lashings of mascara or if you're good at applying lashes, it'd look great with lashes as well. I'm just, I suck at lashes, I just can't do it. But this would look beautiful with lashes. Well, you could do an eyeshadow wing. I mean, if you've got this palette, you've got the black, which would be easy to do an eyeshadow wing with. But I think not doing the lower lash line as well just makes it look a little bit more toned down and a little bit prettier in some ways. So yeah, I'm all about that at the moment. 
this palette's great as well I'm really glad I picked it up when I, I feel I've been catfished a little bit because when you see the the packaging I was like it's going to be wintry inside there's going to be whites and blues and purples a real like winter northern lights kind of feel to it and then when you open it up and it it's like an autumnal vibe it wasn't quite what I expected but since playing with the shadows the quality is fabulous I always love Luna Beauty anyway but this is way better than the Moonspell 2 it's a lot more blendable and easier to apply I think I mean neutral is always easy to, to blend anyway but I've had no trouble with the shades I've used and I really think the colour story is pretty I've, I've put mine in like the mattes on the bottom and the shimmers on the top I just find it easier to to know what I'm reaching for so I love that you can like just put it in any order that you want to and yeah there's a lot of looks in this one actually for being a neutral leaning palette and those shimmers are fabulous as I say they're proper shimmers they're not putty shimmers but they've got a lot of glitz to them without having that sparkly kind of formula in it that's going to fall down on your cheeks it's a bit creamier sort of sparkly formula but not a putty formula it's hard to explain it's a bit like a super shock I think but yeah really really nice so that's all I've got for today's video thank you for watching if this isn't your natural home for makeup and you're like Debbie why aren't you doing anything creative and where's all the color well I love to vary things up as I say but tomorrow we're going to do a really creative look I've got the new set of hydroliners the Hydra Space palette and we're going to play with that tomorrow and do something a lot more out there so if that sounds good to you then please Stay tuned, hit that notification bell and subscribe if you haven't. But other than that, hope you're having a lovely day or night wherever you are and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye guys. <laughs>